From UFOs to psychic powers and government conspiracies, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. The Sherman Ranch is located on 480 acres in Utah. As far as normal ranching business goes, it's not especially remarkable. However, for years it's been the focus of a surprising debate between paranormal investigators and armchair debunkers. It's also known by a different name, Skinwalker Ranch. Here's where it gets crazy. For skeptics, the phrase Skinwalker Ranch may as well be fighting words. For fans of Coast to Coast AM, it's an old, familiar story. Reports of alleged paranormal activity at the ranch first surfaced in a 1996 article by Zach Van Eyck written for the Utah Deseret News. Later, George Knapp, the then host of Coast to Coast AM, published a series of articles on the ranch in the Las Vegas Mercury. These articles reported sightings of strange lights, paranormal experiences with bizarre animals, cattle mutilations, and more. As Knapp continued reporting anecdotes of the ranch, the story caught the eye of entrepreneur Robert Bigelow, a hotel chain owner and the founder of Bigelow Aerospace. Bigelow purchased the ranch and founded a team to investigate the sightings. He called this group the National Institute for Discovery Science, gathering PhDs from various fields along with ufologists to study anomalies at the ranch and abroad. They began calling the Sherman Ranch the Skinwalker Ranch, named after the Native American legend of shape-changing witches. According to Bigelow, Knapp, and several members of the investigative team, there were numerous strange occurrences at the ranch. Knapp and Bigelow claimed that the previous owners, the Shermans, left because they were beset by strange activity, including poltergeist-like disruptions of their home. The Shermans, so far as anyone knows, have not publicly mentioned this as an impetus for their departure. More skeptical sides of the debate believe the anecdotes have no hard proof and suggest the orbs sighted at the ranch may have one of any mundane explanations, including weather, gas, or misidentified aircraft. And a larger question looms. If the area really is rife with paranormal activity, then where is this hard proof? Why haven't investigations turned up indisputable evidence of unnatural activity? In a Q&A session on Reddit, George Knapp claimed the phenomena always stayed one step ahead of the people who were there, including the scientists. It was as if it could read minds. To skeptics, this answer is unsatisfactory. To others, it's a tantalizing possibility. But there's one more point to add here. Robert Bigelow's interests include more than just the Skinwalker Ranch. Before its disbandment, the National Institute for Discovery Science investigated a range of unexplained aerial phenomena, even setting up a hotline for reports. Does this have any link with Bigelow Aerospace? And if so, what? Some of Bigelow's team argued the aerial phenomena may be military technology. According to more skeptical sources, such as Skeptoid's Brian Dunning, the reported activities at the ranch don't sound paranormal. Instead, they could be explained by the natural actions of predators and the usual explanations for so-called ghost lights. But, according to Knapp and others, there's something bizarre about Skinwalker Ranch. Something, it appears, the government, or even the ranch itself, doesn't want you to know. Learn more about the fact and fiction surrounding the Skinwalker Ranch in our audio podcast at StuffTheyDon'tWantYouToKnow.com.